I have never done any of the bad drugs. Not one time. I've never done heroin. I've never done speed. Other than one of the times I did Molly and thought it was either like laced with speed or some kind of analog of speed and not really MDMA. I've never done ketamine or even seen it or even been offered it unlike many people I know. Never done one single bad drug in my lifetime. But if I was going to, guess what I wouldn't do? I wouldn't leave my drug needles in these woods. Why would you leave a drug needle in the woods? I've heard when people do heroin, they nod out. Do you want to nod out and roll over and get poked by your own used needle? Do you want the next person who nods out in this trashed spot to get poked by a used needle? Why are there thousands of used needles throughout these woods mixed in with all this other trash? Like, I do not understand this and I'm horrified by it. This was not here the last time that I came into these woods. But unfortunately, this was. And by the way, I would like to thank the owner of this vehicle for giving me mushrooms that he foraged for in these woods. Because I am afraid to forage for mushrooms in these woods because I am afraid that I will be poked by a used drug needle. None of this was on this ground, on this trail, the last time I came back here, people. Yeah. People, I have done a lot of drugs in my life. And right now, I am going to tell you every single drug that I have ever done. Starting with the worst one. I have drank a lot of alcohol. More than I will ever willingly admit. Alcohol is like the worst drug that I have done. The other drugs that I have done are marijuana, tobacco, LSD, hallucinogenic mushrooms, and DMT. And I tried to do MDMA. I'm pretty sure that the first four times that I did Molly, it wasn't really Molly at all. The fifth time, it might have been, regardless. All of the times that I did molly or mdma it made me feel so horrible that i would never ever consider doing it again i have never done any of the bad drugs not one time i've never done heroin i've never done speed other than one of the times i did molly and thought it was either like laced with speed or some kind of analog of speed and not really mdma i've never done ketamine or even seen it or even been offered it unlike many people i know never done one single bad drug in my lifetime but if i was going to guess what i wouldn't do I wouldn't leave my drug needles in these woods. Why would you leave a drug needle in the woods? I've heard when people do heroin, they nod out. Do you want to nod out and roll over and get poked by your own used needle? Do you want the next person who nods out in this trashed spot to get poked by a used needle? Why are there thousands of used needles throughout these woods mixed in with all this other trash?
Like, I do not understand this, and I'm horrified by it. Come to find out that there was a needle exchange program giving out needles in Eureka, but instead of making drug addicts exchange used needles for clean ones, they were just giving them clean ones. Even by the bag full. There might be millions of used drug needles on the ground, in the woods and the parks, and like even on the sidewalks in Humboldt County, California. And like needle exchange programs are great if they actually like make people exchange needles, but like, what is this? I'm not even gonna walk into here because the last time I did, I saw needles everywhere. This guy who's like homeless and most likely a heroin user himself that I've seen in these woods many times, recently told me he picked up all the needles, but left the caps. I saw a few needles that he missed, but they were covered by other garbage that other people have dumped in the last few days since the last time I've been back here. So I couldn't get a video of them, but like, what is this? Why is this here? And most importantly, why are there used drug needles? We pick wild mushrooms in these woods. They grow on the ground. We pick them with our children. And every time we do so, I am terrified that my children are gonna get poked by a needle. Our neighbors walk their dogs back here. How would you feel if you were walking a dog on a trail through the woods and your dog ran like two feet in the bushes, then came out and it's like leg was full of like used drug needles or something. Like that would be horrible. This mess needs to be cleaned up. And while this is disgusting, what's most disgusting is the used drug needles. Like clean up the used drug needles first then clean up the rest of this afterwards. That's all I have to say. I am now ending my rant. And look, the red huckleberries are still growing back here. As are blackberries and many other berries. I still need people to walk through the woods and help me pick berries and make jam. Mm -mm. Yummy red huckleberries. And mushrooms. I can show people spots deep in the woods where we can pick berries and mushrooms without risking being poked by used drug needles. But it's cool that that guy gave me these. Can you grab that one? Thank you. Which, by the way, are under that pile of garbage, which is like right on the edge of my neighborhood, which we are now walking back to, which will remain an undisclosed location. Yep, they're right here. This is like one of the two walking trails back here. And like two blocks away, there's another trail going into these woods and there's like no needles there. Like they come to like my street, not the street two blocks away to do their drugs. Leaving me wondering if it's somebody who actually lives in my neighborhood who wants to like do it discreetly, not in their home, not a homeless person. And look, there's broken glass, bags of garbage, like literally 10 feet from houses, which are like right over there. I'm not gonna show the houses for people's privacy. It is disgusting. I am going to end this video right now by showing you a video clip of heroin needles jammed down into the dirt right by the tree roots where wild mushrooms that we pick grow that I filmed recently. I'm not sure how long ago I filmed it, but I filmed it recently. The last time that me and my family walked through the woods behind my house to pick mushrooms. The reason I am going to end this video by showing you this video clip is when I went to videotape the same spot today, 
the spot was covered with large bags of garbage and a bunch of other junk covering the needles jammed down into the ground right there in that spot. Please like this video, share this video, watch my other videos, and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to help me to make more videos, you can. You can help me by donating money to me on Patreon or other sites, or buying things for me off of Amazon or off of other sites. Thank you for watching this video. Bye, people.